watching my video. I hope you will look forward to see more of my videos so I can share with you my teaching strategies and insights. Today, we're going to study the benefits of separating mixtures in the community, specifically waste segregation. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to classify the different kinds of waste and identify the benefits of waste segregation in the community. How would you feel if you see people dumping their garbage along the street, at the seashore, and riverside? Do you see insects like flies and cockroaches in the dump site? This happens when people do not dispose their garbage properly. We can get diseases from flies, mosquitoes, and cockroaches, which are carriers of deadly illnesses like dengue and malaria. Flies, mosquitoes, and cockroaches find sewage, rainwaters, tires, cans, and other solid waste and ideal breeding grounds. Are you familiar with this? Do you see vehicles like this in your community? What important role these people do to help us maintain cleanliness and safety in our community? Most places you go to have some form of waste segregation. Your own school may have a bin for biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and recyclable materials. Even in your own house, you should have some form of waste segregation as all local councils do the collection. What will happen if the waste are not separated properly? If waste are not separated properly, they all get mixed up in a landfill. The danger of this is that they all leak after a period of time, resulting in toxic soup at the bottom, which can contaminate groundwater and releases explosive methane gas. The first step of segregation is classifying the waste according to their properties. Liquid waste. Liquid waste is commonly found in households, industries, hospitals, public places, and everywhere. It includes dirty water, organic liquid, wash water, and liquid detergents. Solid waste is any material that is dry, such as plastic, paper, tents, metals, and glass. Organic waste are food waste, garden waste, and rotten meat, which eventually turn into matter by microorganisms or decomposers. Hazardous waste includes all types of waste that are flammable, toxic, corrosive, and reactive. How to dispose a non-hazardous liquid waste? A method called debuttering is used to dispose a non-hazardous liquid waste. The way it works is that it is put into something like a large bag. The water is removed, only the solid waste is left behind. It's then easy to dispose of that solid waste into the landfill or convert it into an organic fertilizer. Solid waste that are recyclables are taken to the recycle center and process them to create new products that can be used. In doing so, we are helping the garbage collectors and waste processors keep their jobs, which allow them to help their family. Creating job and keeping people employed is one of the best benefits of recycling, especially with the tough economic times experienced today. We can also recycle household waste, such as plastic bottles, by turning them into knives and colorful plant pots. As a result, we are saving a great amount of money at the same time saving our Mother Earth. Organic waste is buried in compost peat, making the soil fertile and suitable for growing plants. Composting is one of the greenest and most effective organic waste management. In handling hazardous waste, a technique called incineration was thought out as an alternative to landfills 
because incinerators work so very well in these types of waste. The waste materials are heated as a way of getting rid of them. There's not much benefit in disposing hazardous waste using incinerators, but at least it is the most environment friendly in disposing these types of waste. Some of these marine lives and wild animals in the forest were found dead due to suffocation and intoxication of plastic materials. We are not the only one living in this planet. We coexist with wild animals both on land and in water. Segregating and disposing properly of waste materials will not only reduce the amount of toxins entering the atmosphere, but most of all, saving our planet Earth and all the lives of people and animals living on it. Now that you've learned about the benefits of waste segregation, I'm pretty sure you will become active in participating campaign towards saving the environment against potential damage brought about by proper disposal and handling of waste. You can participate in cleaning the school surroundings, sweeping the yards, and picking up trash by the beach. Let us join these volunteers in their advocates of preserving the environment by getting rid of all the materials dumped in the water or by not dumping anything at all. Let us have a recap of our lesson. What are the different kinds of waste? Liquid waste, solid waste, organic waste, hazardous waste. And what are the benefits of waste segregation? It creates employment, it makes the soil fertile, keeps the environment fresh and clean, saves the earth from great damage, help people earn and save money. That's all our lesson. This is Teacher Joseph Velasquez saying, take care, stay safe and healthy. I will see you again in my next video.